the majority of people will never gain these millions of dollars that they go out to get good morning guys today is august 27th 2024 and we have 66 days before we launch the all dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide 66 days um Finally, the sun is back out today. Uh, yesterday, just overcast, rain all day. It is 7.29 a.m. here in Cartagena, Colombia. And, man, I got a couple things I want to discuss. A uh, couple things that's on my mind. It has a little bit to do with business, but then... It has to do with life in general, you know. I, I have these thoughts, you know, because, look, it was a time when I was growing up that it was no social media. The only way you got information, your source of information was either through TV, magazines, uh, word of mouth, radio, but now with the internet, it's just different. You know, it's, di it's different. News and information just comes like that. Something happens, it's right there in front of you, right? And also with social media, it's... A reality for most that's not really a reality let me explain let me explain on social media everything is there for you to see the nice houses the nice cars the beautiful women the beautiful travel destinations around the world the beautiful beautiful real estate houses and just so much that you can see and you can want to desire and i think it's a, it's it's created a skewed reality that these things is obtainable for everyone and it's not it's not most people will not be rich and it's just a fact i don't know if i'll ever become rich wealthy you know when i say that i think the number right now in america for people to say that they feel rich is 2.5 million dollars When you think about it, it's not a it's 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 a lot, but it's not a lot because of the skewed reality. Oh man, two point five million, yo, that that's obtainable. But then when you look at what's really going on in the world, you say, yo, that's not easy to get. You have to. You, you'll have to create something in order to, to obtain that type of wealth. Now, now let's add in competition for anything that you want to do. It's so much competition, whether you want to build a business, whether you want to invent something, uh, whether you want to be a coach, Whatever you want to do is so much competition. And that's why I kind of go back to the same thing as the only thing that is unique is you. And you have to create something around you and your interests. And be ready to be in it for a long time. Because short-term success is becoming... harder and harder to get it's becoming harder and harder to have a one-hit wonder nowadays 
And when I look at the world, I look at it and I say, man, it's a lot of people that are just suffering and social media is just kind of masking it. Just masking it so much. I was watching something yesterday and it was it was a video about people not having children. Like people having children is down in many places. The United States one of them. Here in Colombia, I see people having lots of children (laughs) you know it's children all over the place it's families all over the place i don't think it's a problem here but in the united states like you hear people like guys like my age don't have kids that's you know that's weird to me um women no i don't want kids uh and one of the biggest excuses is how do i take care of a kid in this day and time Or why would I want to bring a kid into the world in this day and time? And oddly enough, I just really think it's people that are struggling so much. But again, it's just a mask over it. So in this video, the the guy was reading the comments and people were just talking about how they had no money. They work corporate jobs and they wish they could have kids, but they work these corporate jobs and they are realizing that they just will never be able to afford a family and a child. And that's so sad to me because what probably one of the most happiest times was when I was a single dad and it was me and my daughters together every single day. Um... That was probably one of the most happiest times in my life. I yearn for family. That's why, like, if you watch my videos, you see, like, you or, or you may have heard me say, like, like I want two sons, like, in the near future, in the year, next year or two, right? If I, you know, find the right uh, partner, because family is all we really have. You know, houses and cars and all of that stuff, even the the yearning for that stuff goes away. And people are getting so far away from family and people are just alone. And, you know, once you're alone for a certain amount of time, it becomes natural, but it's really not, you know. And that's why I say like, like, we are just at odds in this day and age. It's, you know, and it's partially because of social media. It's partially uh, propaganda. It's partially a lot of different things, you know, why the world is in the direction it's in right now, you know. We need more God. We need more faith, more spirituality. And I'm sorry I'm going on a tangent. It's just that, like, I think about when I lived in Atlanta. Like, Atlanta is its own world, right? It, it, and it's it's so deceiving to most. To it's, it's just when they say Atlanta is not a real place, it's really not. You know, it's a place where people come to believe they can achieve certain things that other people have achieved. And it's not reality. The majority of people will never gain these millions of dollars that they go out to get. Like most people in Atlanta, just say Atlanta. Pinky Cole goes from a burned down restaurant in New York and she goes to this journey. She goes on this journey and she starts this thing called Slutty Vegan. You know, it blows up and she, she has over a hundred million dollar company and you know she's has these restaurants that she's putting all over the united states and she has this wealth and she has this husband and he has restaurants like that will not be most people you know you have these people in atlanta that uh 
have this success and people say, hey, I can do the same thing. I can re I can recreate that. I can do that. And or they see a celebrity. I can do that. So they go to this place and it's all fool's gold because most of these people will not. Like I seen in this invest fest thing, like 50 cent walking through the crowd or whatever. And a guy hands him glasses and free glasses. He should have paid for those glasses. Right. But just the thought of, hey, 50 Cent might put on my glasses and I might get sales, but that still doesn't create a business. Or a guy or a female, you know, walking up to Black Sam, you know, during InvestFest and saying, hey, I'm such and such. I do this. Like, at the end of the day, that's not your customer, right? Right. And that's not the person that's going to propel you to build a good business. Especially the black community, we are so in awed by celebrity. You people want to get close to celebrity. And it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Because I just see people that have hopes and dreams and have these aspirations and and probably have great ideas and probably have a great work ethic and probably have a lot of the elements to build something. But it's off of the wrong principles, I believe. And I'm watching this from afar, you know, I'm watching all of these dreams and aspirations of people and I'm looking, I'm like, most of these people, their businesses won't make it. The life that they envision won't happen. And it's not to say that it will or won't happen for me. I don't know. Right. Right. But the one thing that I am blessed with was to remove myself from the fairy tale of living in Atlanta and what it does to you when you believe like Hey, if I contact this person, if I just meet this person, I just do this or I just do that, my business will blow up and everything will be okay. If I just take this course, if I just connect with this person, I just go on this podcast. Oh, damn, I ran into this person. Damn, that's going to propel me to everything that I ever envisioned. And I just think it's just fool's gold. And so much of what we see online is just fool's gold. All of that shit is just not real. And like I said, it just makes me sad because it's like these are real people that have real dreams, real families, real aspirations. And um, most will just not get there. And it's the arrogance of people to just believe that. I won't do this because I'm too good. uh, If I just meet this person, my business will blow up. Like one thing I've always I've always been ready to do is start from the ground up and and do whatever I needed to do in order to build up. And maybe that comes from going to prison and working in the penitentiary where where I'm cleaning toilets. It's the lowest of the low. But I'm pretty sure it gets lower than that, eating food on the street or sleeping on the street, you know. But I just don't have too much pride to do anything. And I see people that have, you know, too much pride to to take certain jobs or 
to do certain things in order to go where they say they want to go with this vision. I just think most of his fools go, you know. And I didn't mean to ramble. I hope like this maybe touch somebody, but we need to not have too much pride and we need to be realistic and really be self-aware for the things that we're really trying to do because it's getting harder, harder and harder. We need to be self-aware about where we are in the world and what's really happening. We need to pay more attention. All right, guys, I have to get ready for my meeting and um, you guys have a good day. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Good morning, man, how are you? Good, give me two seconds. I gotta just, quick text, I'm almost done. Okay, no worries. I love the journey of athletes, you know? Yeah, me love too. The journey of athletes. How, how old is your son? Yeah, how, how old? Yeah. Yeah, he's 15, he's a freshman. Okay, at, so, so. At Williamsville North. At, at North, okay, so you guys are, with uh, Miles and your son, you guys are planning this 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 backcourt to. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny you say that, man. So Chris, I've coached Miles and Chris since they were in third grade. Miles lives right around the corner. Okay. They've been best friends since third grade, mm -hmm. and I always tease them because I like I don't mean this in a cocky way, but I know every ball player in Western New York mm -hmm. at the younger ages because I've coached I coached at the high school, but I coached AAU the last four years. Right, right. Um, so I when it, with AAU, you know everybody. Yeah. At the younger ages, I'm talking yeah. about. So, anyways, um, I joke with them. I want you to be the best backcourt in Western New York. So, I, so that's why you say that. I tease them yeah, all yeah, the time. That's it, that's and they're it. they're best friends. Yeah. So, I mean, literally. So they they know you know they've grown up together playing. They're, they're instinctive with each other. Mm -hmm. So that's funny you said that. That's that's the goal. No, that's great experience. Great experience. And my question to you is how important to you do you think is, is that's why I said there's great advice that you are giving them, like, because the high school championship has to be the goal. It can't, you know, because you might not even get to <laughs> that next level. Right. Especially now, I just think it's way more competition. Right. How important is the athlete journey from where you guys are starting from? You said Miles and your son, started at third grade, how important is that athlete journey from then all the way to now to you? Like, how do you, how, you know, what do you think yeah. about the athlete journey? Sure. You know, I think it's transferable to life, to work. And the reason I say it is I've had in my career, work career, I've had some real nice things that have happened, which I won't go into, but it was the journey that you enjoy. It's like the, the, the end of it is like, oh, okay, we're here. But it's the journey. And that's where that's where you develop. Right. You know, and that's where you learn commitment. You learn tenacity. You have fun. You wake up and you're gonna go play with your buddies. You know, you have the relation. That's it's all about the journey. And that's why if you don't get your end goal, you can look in the mirror. Hey, I gave it my all. Right. It was a good experience. For sure. You know? For sure. And in AAU, by the other way. When I say, oh, by the way, Darren Fenn is a good friend of mine. I coach X Gen is where he he runs a place yeah, called yeah, X. Yeah, yeah. So I I co I coached there four years, um, but now we now what we do with AAU is I split it off and we we're the only school in the area doing it. I we have Will Williamsville North AAU, so I coach two different age levels. I want the kids playing together because AAU now, unless you're somebody like yourself, and I mean that in all sincerity. It's just summer league now. It's a way to keep the kids playing in spring. It's called AAU. But back when you were growing up, when I was growing up, I'm I'm 59. When I grew up, we didn't have AAU. It started right after me. Do you you and your wife like? Do you guys uh like take videos of your son? Have you oh yeah, yeah. My wife videotapes every been, game. Been taking like like videos since he started all the way. Yeah, the she has. Yeah, she she probably you know what um once in a while she has to delete them because of storage but she like she'll have videos of miles too she she videotapes almost all our games. Oh, okay. So okay. she she because I you know what I think Shamark said you mentioned something to him if he had videos but my yeah. wife does have a ton of videos. Just had the customer discovery meeting with Coach Mike. He's one of the coaches at Williamsville North and. 
again, it the the hypothesis is true. Um, by the time we got to solution of what we're building, he loved it and he said he would purchase it, right? I think this is something that we will hear over and over again. I think we're going to be first, but I don't think we will be last, okay? Someone will try to duplicate what we're doing. I, I like I, I can see that coming. But also, it's such a pain point and such a great price point that I think we win initially. And we have to just make sure that our technology and our platform is easy and very user friendly. And this will be something. I still have more research to do. I probably should talk to 100 people about this. Uh, but this is definitely this is definitely something. This is definitely something. Um, man. I still can't believe that I'm doing this 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 business. Because of everything that I've I've went through to get to this point. Uh to be able to have these discussions. I'm an introvert like but it's easy to have sports conversations and to not sell um Along the way, just have sports conversations. I see more of this happening over and over again. But it is said, like, again, this is something that's needed. Uh, he, Mike even said that his wife deletes some of the videos. No more for that, right? Uh, now they will go into the... the the dreamer's vault <laughs> right for chris he also is going to give a referral and um man this is this is so, so exciting i'm like every single day i'm just in awe he's going also to give a referral as well and um yeah We'll keep on doing these customer discovery, and I believe we have something with this platform. And this is just having conversations, and they haven't seen anything. I think when, when they see what it looks like, it's going to even be more of, I want this, and it's going to spread. So that's what I have. It's 8.57 a.m. here, and um, yeah. Yeah.